Now at 10, the search for bodies is over. Authorities have recovered the remains of the family and suspected gunmen who died during a shooting and fire in East Lansdowne, Delaware County. Tonight, details on what's next in the gruesome investigation. It is Friday night. I'm Gray Hall. Shari Williams is off. The big story on Action News is the latest developments in the tragic shooting and house fire in East Lansdowne this week. Today, the second officer injured during that shooting was released from the hospital. Officer John Meehan of the East Lansdowne Police Department was greeted by officers and community members as he headed home. He was shot in the arm. Action News reporter Katie Catro joining us live tonight with how neighbors are processing this really tragic situation, Katie. Gray, this is a small, tightly knit community. The mayor says he would see the kids going to school and at events. Now the healing process begins for the community and a vigil is scheduled to be held tomorrow at the house. I just ask God to um, just forgive everyone and just allow their soul's entrance into heaven. Emotions are running high as investigators suspect the family members who died in a fire in East Lansdowne on Wednesday were killed by a relative who also shot and wounded two police officers. I'm thinking about my kids if something like this happened. You know, how can you how can you move forward? How can you go on? Delaware County District Attorney Jack Stolsteimer says 43 year old Con Lay is believed to have killed five family members who were found in the ashes of the fire that destroyed this home. Stolsteimer says remains believed to be Con Lay's were found near a gun. I also believe that if this man did shoot his family, which is a horrible evil, I can't even begin to comprehend. Kunle's mother says the five victims are her other son, Soon Lay, and his wife, Brittany McLaughlin Lay, as well as their three children, 13-year-old Nikayla and 17-year-old Natalia and 10-year-old Xavier. She was amazing. She was a great friend. She was a wonderful dancer. She was a big part of our family. Um, and she will definitely be missed. The owner of Kathy Collins Dance Studio says Nikayla would have been dancing this weekend. One of their competition dances that she would have been in will be dedicated to her throughout this season. She would normally be at practice with us tomorrow, so I'm sure it's going to be a rough day for all the girls. Um, but, you know, we want to we want to continue to keep her memory alive and she'll still be, you know, of course, in our hearts. Now, court records show that Cunley was arrested back in 2006 here in Delaware County, and he was charged with making terroristic threats, trespassing, and disorderly conduct. Eventually, that first charge was dropped, and he did community service and paid a fine. Reporting live here in East Lansdowne, Katie Catro, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray? Yeah, the healing for that family and community will be a long time coming. Okay, Katie, thanks for the update.